Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a car and turn you to cannon. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Stop for my confidence. So, in the West, we got a lot of a lot of teams that surprise a lot of people. And there's one particular team that's very young and that's really impressing a lot of folks, including me. That team is the OKC Thunder. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about why this new OKC Thunder team is special. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Will. We're back and getting up with another video. So, y'all know how great player Shea Gillis Alexander is, right? Just smooth, calm, and collective, dropping, averaging 30 points easy when his sleep. And he's doing it in such an effective way, in a quiet and maybe boring play style way, but he is effective. You know, one, one, two dribble up the court, you know, mid range game on lock, layup package pretty nice, knows how to go to the free throw line, knows how to use his ball handling effectively, and knows how to get his teammates involved also. But this is one thing that a lot of people underestimate about Shea Gillis' is Alexander. His defense. His defense is top notch. And a lot of people don't talk about his defense. You know, when he came out, of, when he came in the league when, versus the Washington the Clippers, he was mostly just a defensive player that can, you know, score then and there. Now, he has his own team. He has his own squad. Now he's elevated to the next level, offensively and defensively. He's doing it on both sides of the floor. This man is averaging over, he's averaging 2.1 steals a game. He's one of the most elite, underrated defenders in the league. We know what he's doing offensively, but defensively, a lot of people need to give him more credit for what he deserves. Now, this OKC Thunder team is 6-4 in the Washington Conference. As young as they are, they are 5th in the Washington Conference. Now let's get to Chet home. Listen, we know about Victor Wembanyama, how, how what kind of stud he is. He's probably going to be an All Star in his rookie season. We know we know the phenom that Victor Wembanyama, the hype, the hype is real, but the hype is real for Chet home too. He's that dude too. I believe Chet home is more efficient than Victor Wembanyama. Chet home. Ted Holm was averaging about 16 points per game, about around six, seven blocks a game, and 2.3 blocks per game. Excuse me. He's averaging about seven rebounds a game and 2.3 blocks per game. He's a blocking machine. Maybe a better shot blocker, about the same shot blocker as Victor Wemby Young. Chet knows how to spread the floor. He knows how to get create his own shot. He knows how to get to the basket. He knows how to get his teammates involved also. And he's a great defender. Chet is very agile for his size for his size too. Now, Chet needs to put more a lot more weight on, just like Victor Wembyama does. But Chet, I believe, has a lot of skill to his game. He's not just a big guy that knows how to shoot the three and get blocks. No, he can handle the ball. He can bring the ball off floor. He can put a couple moves on some defenders. Chet is a real deal. And well, he's he's really impressed me. He might be an All Star. I don't I don't think he's going to be All Star, but he's definitely going to be a Rookie of the Year candidate behind Victor Wembanyama. So you added Chet finally playing his first year in his career in the NBA, in the NBA with Shea Gillis Alexander, already a dynamic duo. Then you got these young other young guys that nobody's talking about. Obviously, Josh Giddy, who was just he can be a triple double machine in his sleep if he want if he wanted to, and then Jalen Williams, this dude right here out of Kentucky, yo, he's a, he's a literally a slasher, and also a good defender. He's literally a better version of Dort, and you have Dort on it. This is all in the starting lineup. This team is not as don't get me wrong, they are not as good that that two thousand. From 2008 to 2013, OKC team. From 2008 to 2016, OKC team. When they have Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Deion Waiters, Serge Ibaka. No, they're not that team. That team is way different from this team. That team was most athletic. 
and with a lot of skill. This team is more patient offensively. They have, they control the tempo. They defend at a high level. They are athletic, but in their own way. And this team is just growing. They, I think the the oldest player probably got 27, 26. I don't even, I don't even tell. I know the coach is young too. This OKC team has definitely, I believe they can make the playoffs this year. I definitely think they probably be a sixth seed in my opinion, maybe fifth seed. But this OKC team is really good, and they're just young. They're young. Shea is a bucket. All star, first team, All NBA. Putting up 30 every night with assists and defending at a high level. Chet is a rookie of the year candidate and probably going to be an all-star next year for show. Jillian Williams is a slasher that just knows how to get buckets. That just knows how to just, just create problems with the defenders. Josh Giddy, triple-double machine, just knows he's the, the biggest playmaker on the team. And then Lou Dort is literally... A combination of all of those guys and those that defend too and can shoot the three. And they have a lot of young players on the bench. Yo, this OKC team is special. They have, they can really wreak havoc in the Western Conference. If they continue to put their play style, if they continue to come together, because that's the difference between the the old OKC team athletic and just talent off the roofs wise to this one. The chemistry looks better with this team already, and they're young. They know how to play together. They know how to move the ball. The one thing they need to work on is rebounding. Chet, you need to get, become a better rebounder. Seven rebounds and you eat about over seven foot, you got to do better. I would say that. Y'all need to work on rebounding. And basically, office, I mean, just rebounding in general. Y'all need to work on rebounding. I think defensively, y'all get better, even though y'all are already solid defensively. But rebounding, y'all need to work on rebounding. But other than that, OKC, okay, y'all, the sky's the limit for y'all. Keep keep going. Keep striving for greatness. That's all I got to say for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all did, give your boy a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. It's being bold, Will, and I'm out.